Hello, this is Priscilla Battelle in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery and that's a 12 by 24 inch canvas and this is what I've just squeezed onto it. It's a matte, dry matte black canvas to begin with and I just want enough moisture sans objects to help me swipe. I have some wet paper towels cut up into little pieces and I kind of like to use them. And I'm going to start by putting some paint down in the middle and what I usually like to do is use my Anita's white metallic because it's very much like using water in watercolor. It doesn't add much in the way of a changing. I'm not articulate today, never mind. <laughs> That's going in the bucket. I'm going to start with my Anita's white metallic. I know everybody starts with a straight line, but I'm not interested in being everybody. <laughs> then some Decorate Americana 24 karat gold. I like to overlap them just a little bit, half and half. I am going to use some, I think it's going to be green gold if I can lay my hands on it right now. There it is. Yes, I have seldom used. I opened you. You cannot be closed. You cannot. I guess you can. <laughs> Change of plan. I am going to use some light blue that is basically Anita's white metallic. It wasn't my original plan, but it is now. I'm going to find some, some not plugged up purple. Huh. Let me see if I've got another container. I've got some beautiful Arteza metallic or iridescent. It obviously needs to be used up anyway. I'm going to put that to the side so I can clean it out. This is dioxazine purple. It's going to add a nice dark note. Not that black really requires it. I have a good selection of hot orchid. I meant to put these in chunks with spaces in between, but that's another painting. I might be sorry I'm doing that because of the blue. I'm going to try and put it where I don't see the blue. <laughs> What else? What else? What else? I know that I have some pink diamond that I absolutely love. And I think I'm going to use some of my Venetian blue. And I still want some turquoise. Eh, this, they're my same colors. But that'll be okay. I wish I could have found my tweezers to open up that bottle of green gold. I got one set in the bucket, which means the other ones are floating around here somewhere. And now my hand is wet. Well, if I want some green gold, at least I can do something about it. That is the Pink Diamond Prism Pour from Color Art. I need to put a few bottles out of my way. I never did use that green, just so I have a little bit of room. I'm going to take the top off this green gold while that decides to set up and see that I have a missing color right there. And I got my plug out done a lot of this today. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I might be sorry. Oh, maybe I will be sorry. I don't know. I like it with purple. I had a dream that I used this green gold with some turquoise. 
All right, so let's grab my paper, what paper towels. And what am I going to do? I am going to show you my gravy boat. Actually, it's a, it's a grease catcher, but it works really well for this. And check out your church resale shop. I'm going to throw those tweezers back in the bucket, which I could be really sorry about if I find something in the paint. Let's start with something larger and smaller. Let's start with something that's open. Turntable break and my torch out of the way. And I think what I'm going to do is go right back in there again because I see. Now I meant to tip this to spread it out, but maybe it's better to have the heavy paint. Let's go to white. Really? Is there not a single bottle that's unplugged? Holy cow. Back to the tweezers again. Oh, and they're both in there. Well, that's sort of good news. This is so ungainly of me. Let's get the water off. Anytime. Let's grab another paper towel. That's a half a paper towel. I like the white. I don't know what possessed me to go on the diagonal. I kind of like to cross over them, see what happens. really like that. It must be time to, to use the purple before it completely plugs up. I'm going to try and use it. Same paper towel. Come on, paper towel is folding the corner up. That's two. I'd say back to white. And maybe a little tweezer action to make it come out a little, a little more easy. Draw. Use some of that white. Okay, that's not so bad. I kind of like that. I don't see any cells in there, but maybe they'll come up. <laughs> I can hope. Let's go back to white again on this side. longer paper towel and I'm thinking about using it. I 
with a couple of gaps. I'm not sure I like the wider part portion of that. Let's go back to the other side again. Poke it in a little bit. Try and throw in some rogue elements. I'm inclined to use my paint. Just to shadow the end there. Not sure how well that worked. Okay. I tried to make my paper towels a little less wet this time. I think less wide works better for me. Inclined to take my skewer. And just drag it through a few of those places. It's really because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. Next to my second book, Unlimited Possibilities. The Amazon link is under the video. And to show more, you'll find my paint pouring recipe. I'm gonna steal a little paint right here. Maybe a little more. Yep, I don't mind that at all. I like the negative space, but I also like the little tendrils. Now we're going back to black. Oh, that was a very copious amount of black. Little poke. overlap. I want to just steal some paint. Fill in. I'm not sure it was a good idea, but I had to try it. If you don't tell, nobody will probably notice. Except for right there. You'll probably notice that. It's hard manipulating wet paper towels. I'm going to go back in for the black. Just to keep things from being too regular.
Not as sure about that. That's a little better. I'm not unhappy with that anymore. I think it's time for some white. And if I can find a wider paper towel, maybe I'll use it. There, I like that. Let's just go in and take what's left. I think I like the purple. I can't believe I didn't tip to begin with, but I'm kind of glad I didn't because I think I have every other time. I've got two minutes left to tell you guys I do sell my artwork and I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. So if you're interested in a class or inquiring about a purchase of an artwork, look under the video under show more to find my email address below my link tree. I may sneeze. Excuse me. That's two. I'm going to try and use the same paper towel. I really like those colors there though. I like it to pull around. I kind of like the half circle. It adds something strange and unexpected. And it's only residual colors. So it's not going to make a huge impact. unless I choose to continue, which I might. I'm not sure what to do about that. I guess leave it alone. So I love you guys. I got one minute left to tell you that there is a monthly drawing and you can see the prizes in the drawing at the beginning of the exhibition video on the end screen of this video. And if you want to be in it, look for the PayPal icon on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner or the link on my link tree. And you'll be automatically invited to become to come to become part of the draw the monthly drawing. I cannot talk today. I do not know what the deal is. Don't ask me what possessed me to do little half circles, but I like them. They're they break it up. I like them as much as anything. I love you guys. Can, can, please give me a thumbs up. Share my videos. Know that I love you. Another 2200 videos and I can give you a link if you'd like one. They're all organized by topic and genre. And uh, I will see you guys anon.